Speaking after a closed-door meeting with traditional rulers and Niger Delta and Zimbabwe State, the spokesperson of the Joy Youth Council and the National President Niger Delta Youth Leaders Council express their views. A threat declaration of independence. I would like to speak from the point of view of the IYC. Uh, the IYC believes in a united Nigeria that is built on justice, equity and fairness. Our demand has never been for a sovereign uh, state for the John people or the Niger Delta people. But we believe that the, the, it is better for us to be in a united Nigeria. There is strength in unity. Of Niger Delta Republic, it, it cannot be in the interest of Niger Delta. We have not even planned it. We have not talked about it. So therefore, it's, it's, it's a kind of a projected imagination for our brothers in the creeks. On their part, the National Coordinator Center for Peace and Environmental Justice, Comrade Sharif Muladi, said the struggle is beyond declaring a Niger Delta Republic. First and foremost, I want to call on the Niger Delta Avengers to shed their sword because a Niger Delta course is not to declare a republic but the requesting, we are demanding for development of the region. Uh, I feel, uh, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling bad about it because uh, we, we want united Nigeria. The recent show of force in worry by soldiers of the Joint Task Force has no doubt sent a warning signal to militants in the Niger Delta. But if the warning by the commander of the JTF, Rear Admiral Joseph Okoje, is anything to go by, then militants should expect a tough time. Guided elements that appear that believe that this unachievable and unfortunate, that carry out or spread the unachievable and unfortunate you know, message of disunity. Meanwhile, as the countdown to October 1st begins, dialogue is believed to be the better option to avoid loss of lives and destruction of economic interests.